वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज सम न्यू स्टोरीज इन द ऑन गोइंग सोनी सिविल वॉर सी एन एन हैज पब्लिश्ड अ रिपोर्ट इट हैज रिपोर्ट क्लेमिंग दैट रशिया हैज प्रोवाइडेड सर्फिस टू एयर मिसाइल्स टू द रैपिड सपोर्ट फोर्सिस और एस एफ सी एन एन क्लेम्स टू हैव शेयर द एविडेंस एज वेल विद दिस रिपोर्ट हाउ कन्विंसिंग इज दिस एविडेंस Nimal Bagir is once again uh, back with her reporting she reported extensively about uh, the war in uh, northern Ethiopia but she was accused of being biased this is her first major report about uh, Sudan war she is from Sudan i think i think the report lacks convincing evidence details for you secondly US is going to deploy more troops to its military base in Djibouti just a few hours ago US made this announcement and thirdly what happened uh, in the last 6 uh, to 7 hours in Sudan's capital was there any fighting was there any were there any air strikes we have details for you firstly viewers uh, CNN has published a report about uh, provision of surface to air missiles uh, from Russia to uh, rapid support forces RSF led by Hamdan Dagalo RSF is fighting a Sunni's army uh, in different parts of Sudan mainly fighting is in Khartoum Sunni's capital Nimal Bagir and other journalists have written this uh, they've compiled this report now the journalists claim they have shared evidence what is their evidence they claim that before the start of civil war in sudan this month in april unusual activity was seen between Russian air base in Syria Latakia air base and some air bases in Libya the two air bases in Libya called Al Khadim air base and Al Jufra air base which are both in eastern Libya being controlled by Libyan national army of General Khalifa Haftar journalists claim that unusual flights were seen from latakia to uh, al khadim al jufra and in eastern sudan uh, there has been presence of wagner fighters who fought in libyan civil war in support of libyan national army so journalists claim that uh, probably from uh Syria surface to air missiles were delivered to air bases in Libya Al Khadim or Al Jufra evidence has been shown about these flights but no evidence uh, further further journalists claim that uh, from eastern libya from al jufra or from al khadim air force bases these missiles were delivered to uh, rapid support forces in northwestern sudan where in northwestern sudan no details any evidence showing uh, flights between eastern libya and northwestern sudan no evidence shared uh sirens journalists claim that uh, russian wagner fighters are involved uh, in the provision of these weapons to rsf so rsf now has surface to air missiles that is what the report and evidence is in short well uh, i've been saying libya could be involved in this uh, conflict to the extent of provision of arms and uh, uh military support to uh rsf why because rsf supported uh, lna uh by libya i mean uh libyan national army khalifa haftar lna group backed by uh ue uh and uh, russia though it was backed by egypt as well 
when there was civil war because eastern Libya shares border with Egypt. So back then Egypt was backing, UAE was backing as well, uh, LNA. Turkey was backing GNA. Egypt had concerns about its security because uh, so, so it was in alliance with eastern Libya based LNA. There could be uh, alliance though Haftar is denying. Haftar spokesperson denied uh, any involvement in Sudanese civil war. He said that uh, uh, LNA Khalifa Haftar was uh, he, he supported mediation and he was ready to play a mediatory role. So he was not supporting anyone. CNN's evidence is insufficient. If you are making this claim at such a high level, you are accusing Russia of being involved in this war, of having given surface-to-air missiles to rapid support forces. There should be corresponding evidence too. Evidence is missing. I am not saying Russia is not involved, Libya is not involved. I am not saying that. But the story lacks evidence. Russia could be involved, Libya could be involved, but if you are making a claim at this level, you should have corresponding evidence as well. Evidence of flights between Syria and Libya uh, does not prove that uh, rapid support forces received support from Libya. So to make such a claim uh, at such a level, the journalists should have shared some evidence regarding delivery of these missiles from Libya to Sudan. Their evidence is regional sources, diplomatic sources, Sudan diplomatic sources. All these sources are speaking now. Where were they when deliveries were made? So, US reporting about uh, alleged Russian involvement in this war should be taken with a pinch of salt. Uh, and if Russia becomes involved openly in this war, it could turn into a long proxy war between regional and global world powers. Second viewers, the US is deploying more troops to its military base in Djibouti. US has a military base there. Uh, some other countries have bases too in Djibouti. Why? Because US is... Uh, planning to evacuate its citizens, its uh, diplomats from Sudan in the next 72 hours. Plan has been announced, Sudan military has been taken on board, RSF as well. That is why uh, US is planning to send uh, uh, its uh, security officials uh, in uh, Djibouti. Uh, there is already deployment of US troops there more deployment is being made. Let's see how US evacuates its staff, uh, its citizens from Sudan. It's going to start in coming hours reportedly. Thirdly, what happened in the last uh, eight hours or so, the night between Thursday and Friday. Today is uh, Friday. Eid al-Fitr is being celebrated uh, across Sudan, but no Eid al-Fitr announced uh, in Khartoum so far. Clashes resumed at night. Heavy clashes in uh, parts of Khartoum city. In southern Khartoum, Jabra. In eastern Khartoum. And in Kafori region, there were heavy clashes last night. Firstly, secondly, air strikes have been conducted, continuing, air strikes continuing and last night target was RSF's positions near uh, Khartoum International Airport. Umedirman was hit too, there were clashes in Umedirman, Saleha area of Umedirman where there were clashes last night. So. Uh, ceasefire has not been extended so far. It was being hoped that in respect of Eid al-Fitr, uh, RSF and Sudanese army could agree on a two or three day long ceasefire. So far, no extension of ceasefire. Clashes intensifying 
air strikes intensifying regional players international players are becoming involved not only in mediation but also in the ongoing battles in support of one or the other party so that is why the, uh, there is need for some immediate solution to this conflict if the war goes on we could see regional international players step in to protect their interests in sudan thick watch